Well, this is my Lister domestic water pump that I paid £50 for. It's in a bit of a state, but um, hopefully I can uh, do something with it. I've had to cut the plug off the end, but um, I'm, I've got a new brass one for it, but I've got to uh, reduce it because the thread inside is a bit knurled up, so I've got to reduce it to clear the inside. The con rod was worn over by about a sixteenth of an inch on the external side. So uh, I've had to concoct something in the lathe to, on a face plate and bore it out. So it's now round inside. I was hoping to open it out with a larger drill, but I haven't got one that size, so I'm going to leave that where it is. It's um, less than 5 eighths but it's um, more than 9 sixteenths, so I don't really want to open it up any more than it is. And I've got a piece of phosphor bronze. That's three quarters, so I've got to turn that down now. Anyway, my battery's going now, so I better finish right, off. Right, we're back to the Conrad, put another battery in. So, uh, as I said on the other one, which may or may not have recorded as the battery failed. The gudgeon pin hole should be half inch diameter and I've bored it out roughly to just over nine sixteenths now and uh, I haven't got a drill so I'm going to have to leave it as it is and uh, it's a phosphor bronze bar three quarters so I'll turn that down, drill a hole in it for half an inch and put a bar in the tail stock so that I can match the two together and then gradually shave a little bit off the end down to the what the bore size is in there make it slightly oversized then take the con rod off and heat it up and hopefully drop the new bush into it and we'll see how that goes the rest of the bits are all in a box here the suction plate for the water the bits here. This is the old plug on the end. I had to cut it off. Pretty rusty. New plug there. Cost me about five pound off eBay. But I've got to cut the thread down a little bit because it's uh, a bit too long in there. New bearing. The one on one end is fine. But the other one was shot to pieces. These are remainders. I had to cut the inside off the shaft. New bearing was about six pound, as opposed to twenty odd pound if you go onto a certain site. But it'll do for whatever. These are the little plates that go on the for the um, suction and um, dispersal of the water. They might be all right, the springs have gone and all the bolts that go through, they've completely wasted away. So I'm gonna make some new ones of those out of some hex bar that I've just bought. That cost me a fiver to buy these, about 40 pound for the four. So I can spend a, couple of hours making them myself so here we go we shall just see what happens a piece of uh, of bronze bar reduced down to nearly the diameter of the uh, bore I've just made in the con rod 
it's reamed out to half an inch and I've got a half an inch rod here which I'm hoping I can push into the end or will go in the end just to stabilize it while I'm taking light skims off with the cutter so as I don't crush it and the other end is over here which you saw before that's there and that's the bore I'm leaving that as it is and that's the uh, bore I've got to get into once I get it nearly there I'll take the con rod out and heat it up a bit and try and slip the phosphor bronze bush into it then I've got to drill through where the oil hole is which is um, just here if you can see so make sure I don't forget that right off I go then do a bit more right there we go one bronze bar one old gudgeon pin which I'll take that out excuse me a minute there's a half inch reamed hole and uh, the old gudgeon pin just slides in nice and easy so that's worked out very well took a long time but at least it's done just got to cut that off now and clean it up <laughs> 